Thanks for joining us. I'm Mallory Safoste along with Kelly Swoop. Clearing the channel in the aftermath of the bridge collapse will fall on the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and work is already underway. WMER 2 News is Jeff Hager live now from the Corps of Baltimore's headquarters near Fort McHenry with more on the, the big task ahead. Well, Kelly, removing that debris is now one of the top priorities, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers will draw from more than a thousand of its top experts in their respective fields, engineers, contractors, and divers, to get the job done. The 61-foot Catlet has already been utilizing sonar, a remotely operated vehicle, and some of the top engineering minds in the country to help in the recovery mission on the Patapsco River. And the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers will now focus on safely removing thousands of tons of concrete and steel from the channel and from atop the container ship Dolly as well. A portion of that truss bridge is draped over the front of the vessel. That piece of the truss weighs somewhere between three and 4,000 tons. So the heaviest crane we have on the eastern seaboard will be here tonight. It can pull, it can lift 1,000 tons. That means cutting that truss alone into four pieces, any one of which could pose a deadly risk to divers and salvage operators alike. The Corps' experts are working with the bridge's original builders to plot out the exact dimensions and weight of each piece of the original structure, both above and below the water's surface, and at a maximum depth of 50 feet, it can't afford to leave anything undetected on the river bottom which could jeopardize a passing vessel once the channel is reopened. A large vessel like the Dolly is coming in. When it's loaded, it's drafting about 48 and a half feet. So there's only about 12 to 18 inches of clearance between the bottom of that vessel and the bottom of the channel. So that's important because after we get the steel out of the water, and I just attempted to describe the complexity with that, we've got to make sure the bottom of that channel is absolutely clean. Can't have any concrete with this exposed rebar, remaining pieces of steel, containers. We've got to clean off that entire shipping channel floor as well. Now, clearing the channel for even a single lane of ship traffic is also a priority right now. And this morning, the general said he spoke with President Biden, who told him the Army Corps of Engineers' primary responsibility right now is this cleanup project. Still, there's no idea just how long that might take. Reporting live in Locust Point, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.